This is the uh, second uh, video about uh, Google Drive sharing. I'm going to go back to the document I talked about before. I'm going to right click on it and go to share. And now instead of just typing in an email address and sharing, I'm going to go to the advanced link. This will bring up the details about uh, who this document's already shared with and I can make my changes here. So if I wanted to change someone I've already shared it with, if I wanted to change their access, I could drop down this little box and select the kind of access I want them to have. Or if I decide I no longer want this person to have access, I just click the X and it deletes them out of the list of people who have access. I can also add more people if I want to give people who aren't listed here, if I want to give them access through email, same way as I did before. But up at the top, there's something uh, where I can adjust the global settings for the document. If I click on the change link here, it'll show me that the document as it is, is only available to specific people. And those people were listed on that previous page. But let's say I'm going to go to a conference. I'm going to present to 100 people in a room, and I don't have time to collect all their email addresses to share my document with them. What I can do is I can make my document public on the web. Then they can all get to it, and I don't even, in fact, I don't even have to know who they are. Now, you might not want to do that if there's information, let's say, you had students' names and pictures something that would be available if you were inside the school but you don't want to share it with the whole world you could make it available to only people within the school this would be anyone with an email address in the school so it would include it would include students and staff now there's two other things that are similar but have a little bit of a twist it's anyone with a link or only people at my school with the link now, normally, when somebody shares something with you, it'll show up under Shared With Me. Or you can search for it, and if you know the name of the file, you can find it that way. But if it says anyone with the link, or anyone at my school with the link, the person would have to know the, the link to the file in order to get to it. So it's, it's a basically security through obscurity. The only way you can get to this shared file is if someone actually tells you the exact link of the file. Now, where do you get the link to share that information? If you go back to sharing, the link is right here at the top. Or you can go back to the file list and right click, and there's an option to get the link there. As a last resort, you could just open up the file, and the link is right in the address bar of your browser. So that's, in essence, all of the sharing options with permissions that are available to you through Google Drive. The next little section I'm going to talk about uh, folders and how those work compared to files in folders.